ஹாய் ஹலோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் ஹாப்பி குக்கிங் வித் அர்பிதா இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐல் பி ஷோயிங் யூ ஹவ் டு ப்ரிப்பேர் எக்லெஸ் பைனாப்பிள் பர்த்டே கேக் யூ கேன் மேக் திஸ் கேக் ஃபார் எனி பர்த்டே ஆர் எனி செலிப்ரேஷன் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் செக் அவுட் திஸ் ஈஸி அண்ட் சிம்பிள் ரெசிபி ஸோ லெட்ஸ் ப்ரிப்பேர் தி கேக் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபார் தேட் வீல் ப்ரிப்பேர் தி வெட் இன்க்ரீடியன்ஸ் டேக் அ லார்ஜ் பவுல் அண்ட் ஆட் ஹாஃப் கப் ஆஃப் ஆயில் You can use any oil. I've used refined sunflower oil. Add 3 4 cup of powdered sugar. Whichever measuring cup you're using, make sure you use it throughout the entire process. Add 3 4 cup of powdered sugar. And you need to whisk the oil and sugar for 2 to 3 minutes until all the sugar is dissolved and it becomes thin. Next I'm going to add here 1 teaspoon of pineapple essence. Since it's a pineapple cake, you need to add 1 teaspoon of this essence into the wet ingredients. And add milk. I have taken 1 cup of milk and add it little by little. Mix all the ingredients well. It's combined well now. we will sift the dry ingredients so before that keep the cake tin ready this is 6 inch cake tin i am greasing this with oil on all the sides if you have a butter paper you can place a butter paper directly if you don't have a butter paper add 1 tablespoon of maida and dust it in this way so that the maida forms a even layer and it forms a coating so now our cake tin is ready you need to keep this ready before you add the dry ingredients so add 1 and 1/2 cups of maida this is 1 cup of maida and this is the other half cup of maida and add 1 and 1/2 teaspoons of baking powder and add 1/2 teaspoon of baking soda these three are the dry ingredients for this recipe sift the dry ingredients this will incorporate lot of air into the batter this process is very important and you need to mix this in this way that is cut and fold method you need to mix the batter very carefully the batter looks very thick after mixing so i'm adding the remaining milk total i've used 1 cup of milk mix it gently our cake batter is ready the consistency should be of ribbon consistency not too thick or not too thin add 1 teaspoon of lemon juice so lemon juice will react with the baking soda that we have added and the cake will become absolutely fluffy and spongy so mix this well and transfer this immediately into the greased cake tin that should be the consistency of the cake batter pat it twice to get rid of the air bubbles and you need to preheat the cooker add enough salt at the bottom and and bake this for 40 to 45 minutes on low to medium flame so after 45 minutes i'm checking the cake the toothpick comes out clean so our cake is perfectly baked now scrape the sides of the cake and allow this to cool down completely after the cake is cooled down transfer it on a plate don't do this when the cake is hot after completely cooling it down you need to transfer it 
from the cake tin. Our cake is ready now. It looks very soft and spongy. So now let's prepare the frosting. I have taken here Amul whipping cream. This is pure milk cream. 30% fat. It's pure milk fat. I'm using one full pack that's around one cup of whipping cream also make sure the vessel in which you are whipping and the electric beater should be refrigerated before you start whipping so now we'll start the whipping process you need to whip this on low speed for two minutes initially now i've used here unsweetened whipping cream I'm adding 3 tablespoons of icing sugar. Here adding icing sugar is important because if you add powdered sugar, the whipped cream will become watery. And add 1 teaspoon of pineapple flavor. And this is yellow food color. I'm adding 1 teaspoon of this. And whip this for 10 minutes on high speed. The cream looks very thin. After 10 minutes of whipping, we can see the volume has doubled and it looks very thick. So that should be the consistency. You need to whip this until you get stiff peaks like this. Now our frosting is ready. Keep this aside. And... On the cake board, add 1 teaspoon of whipped cream so that the cake doesn't move. And I'm cutting the cake into 2 halves. Cut this carefully. Now our cake has been cut into 2 equal parts. That's the two layers of our cake. You can see our cake has turned out to be super soft, spongy and look at the air bubbles incorporated. Place this on the cake board. That's the first layer of our cake. On this we need to top up with some sugar syrup. This is just water and sugar mixed. That's the sugar syrup. Add some water and uh, add some sugar and mix it and keep and add it to the layer. Next I am adding whipped cream. This is some white whipped cream. Uh, that is before adding the yellow food color. I had taken out a little bit of whipped cream. Just to have a contrast of whipped creams. So now place the second layer and again apply the sugar syrup. Adding sugar syrup will make the cake very moist, soft and juicy and will give a pastry feel when you have a bite. Again add uh, whipped cream. I've used white whipped cream in the layers and I'll be using the yellow one on the top layer. You must be wondering where the third layer is coming from. Actually, I had baked another cake. And I wanted the cake to be a little more in quantity. Uh, so I placed the third layer and add some sugar syrup on the third layer too. And finally, add uh, the yellow whipped cream. And you need to cover this whipped cream. On the entire cake on the top and on the sides too apply lots and lots of whipped cream on the entire cake and level it up and finally using a any design nozzle you can decorate your cake I'm using a very simple nozzle here Decorate it on the bottom too. Your super tasty, delicious and mouth-watering 
moist and fluffy pineapple cake is ready. Make this for any birthdays or any celebration. Do give this cake recipe a try and let me know how it turned out for you in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. Please like this video, share this video. For more such wonderful recipes, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in my next video. Until next time, bye-bye. Take care.